Um, as a coffee lover myself, I can't imagine starting my day off without a latte. Um, and over the last couple of years, I've used a wide variety of different machines and coffee makers, anything from a French press to a pour over to a drip coffee maker, just because it's easy. Um, and so I wanted something that was smart and versatile. So I decided to try out the spin, which promises to do just that. Um, it can make anything from a simple cup of coffee to espresso to a latte. So today we're gonna go ahead, do an unboxing, review some of its features, and um, I'll give you my final thoughts on the product after that. So let's go ahead and get started. Unboxing the spring was pretty straightforward. The box opens up pretty easily. Um, I felt that the packaging was really sturdy. I really appreciated that they provided clear step-by-step -step instructions um, in regards to how to set up the machine. Um, I was able to quickly open up everything and set it up within just a few minutes. Overall, a pretty good experience. A large portion of the setup is through the Spin app. Once you've got the app open, um, it'll actually kind of walk you through step by step. Um, once you're within the setup, it actually even has several videos. Uh, here we can see that it's searching for the device. You'll obviously need to have it plugged in. Um, once it's discovered the device, it then has you follow through a few steps in which you will press the button on the actual Spin machine, which will pair it to the phone um, and allow it to connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, but overall, pretty easy and you'll kind of see the blue light um, flashing as well. Um, it'll then search for the device again and once you're connected you'll then go ahead and, um, and enter the Wi-Fi information. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi it'll have you choose a name for your machine. Um, I decided to be cheeky with ours and name it Spinny but you can choose whatever you like. Uh, once you've named this machine, um, it'll then kind of have you walk through several other steps in which you can install the water filter, it'll update the machine if there are any other updates, um, and then all the activation is pretty much complete after that. You'll then be on this main screen where you can see several options of different drinks that you can make. Um, I really appreciated the variety that the spin machine has and it's probably you know one of the main reasons that I decided to purchase it. When you're making coffee, it'll actually be super customizable. You can choose how many grams of coffee you want, depending upon how strong you like it, and also the size. Um, so really love the customization on it. Um, it also will even allow you to do, you know, anything from a carafe to hot water. Um, so you can really just use it for anything. So once you've decided what drink you'd like to have and you've made the customizations that you'd like, you'll hit the start button and the spin machine will first begin with a pre-fresh cycle. During that pre-fresh cycle, it'll go ahead and rinse the entire system and all of that will end up in the drip tray so you don't have to worry about any of that ending up in your drink. It'll then go ahead and begin grinding the beans, which I really appreciate um, because I used to have a separate grinder and that was a whole process before, so I really appreciate that it's an all-in-one system um, and it really brings that fresh coffee flavor to, uh, to every drink that I have now, so uh, that, that's been great. Once the beans have been grinded, it'll then start to dispense the drink. Um, and once that's complete, you'll sort of hear like a ding sound at the end. Um, and then it'll begin the cleaning process as well. And most of that also ends up um, in, the, um, in, in the drip tray as well as the, the, grounds, uh, the ground spin, I guess is what you would call it. Um, what I would recommend is, and you don't necessarily have to do this, but at the end of a cycle, it, there will be about 10 minutes after your drink is made and, you, and you've um, taken it away, it will then go ahead and rinse the rest of the system as well. Typically that will come out of the main spout. Um, the drip tray can totally catch that, but I will just put a glass there just so that it all ends up there and it's a little bit easier to clean, but totally up to you. Here you can see we've got our espresso and I actually went ahead and froth some milk, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in now sloppily. Um, but here we have our latte, and you can see it's beautiful. It tastes just as good as it looks. I'm really impressed with how well this has turned out. Hi everyone, I'm filming this about a month in the future, so I've had a fair amount of time with the spin to really see what it's like to use day to day. So today I'm gonna go ahead and start off by reviewing the pros and cons with you. The first thing that I really love about this machine is how versatile it is and how customizable it is. You can make anything from cold brew to espresso to lattes all within just a few minutes. You can also customize the amount of ounces you want of each drink and also how many grams of coffee you want in each drink. I really feel like before I would have you know all these different contraptions and devices and grinders and different things to do cold brew all on the counter and it would just take up so much space. With the spin, you really don't have all that clutter. It's really simplified into one device that's super versatile and you can pretty much do everything with. 
The second thing that I really love about it is that it has a grinder that's built in. Um, before, you know, I'd have a separate grinder that I'd have to grind the beans in and store the beans, store the grinds, you know, you know, it was just a mess. Now it's all just right there. It grinds the coffee immediately right before it makes each drink. And it just feels, it feels like it just saves so much time and so much space and it tastes fresh that it's just super worth it. And I feel like the grinder is super high quality. So I would highly recommend it honestly, just for the grinder alone. Um, and then what I also love about it is that it really just cleans itself. There's not too much that you really have to do. It pretty much will rinse itself um, and then you'll have, you know, you'll just have to empty out the, the drip tray and you'll have to throw away the, clear out the groundsman, but that's really it. And then every 180 drinks or so, you can run through the deep cleaning cycle for which Spin sells a solution that you can buy from their website. And um, that's maybe like every month or two, just depending upon how many drinks you're making. But again, it kind of just does everything on its own. There's not much that you have to do except for putting in the solution in the water and then just letting it run through so i really love that it's very easy to clean day to day and doesn't take up too much time last but not least i love the app i think that it's super easy to use it has a great user interface um, you can easily figure out how to make a drink how to customize it you can also order merchandise you can order coffee beans you can pretty much do anything from within the app so i feel like it's really well done i also like that it really allows you to set your presets you can then either select them from the app or you can select them from the physical buttons on the on the spin machine itself so for whatever reason if you don't want to use your phone you can set it up in the phone so that you have your presets on the device and you just hit the button and you're good to go so overall really love the machine and it, it's it's really easy to use in terms of my cons, my biggest cons with this machine would probably be the fact that it only has one reservoir for coffee beans. So you can really just put in one type of coffee. You can't do different flavors. You can't really put in decaf versus caffeine. So what I sort of have worked around it is that, you know, it tells you how many grams of coffee it's going to use for each drink. So you can just buy an inexpensive scale and I can link that below. But essentially with the scale, you can measure out the grams of beans. You can put them in there and that way it just uses those beans immediately. And then for the next drink, you know, if someone else is using it, wants to use a different flavor, they can measure how many grams they need for their drink. So that's kind of the workaround that you can have. But in the future, I really would love to see Spin having two different compartments or at least two different reservoirs that can have different flavors of coffee or different levels of caffeination of coffee. And that way you can just customize it to exactly the way you want it to be. The second thing that I noticed about this machine was that I couldn't use all of my mugs with it. I have a lot of, you know, tall mugs that I use in the house and also tall mugs that I use for travel. And unfortunately they don't all fit underneath the spin. A majority of cups will and majority of mugs will as well, but you just have to remove the, the, the drip tray and then you can make it work. And also there are, you know, spin cells, some travel mugs that you can use as well that will also fit under the machine. Not a huge deal, but just a little bit annoying in the beginning, but I was able to quickly find a workaround around it. So not a huge deal. Um, but in the future, maybe a taller spout would be great. Uh, last but not least is I, the, the, the spin manufacturers actually mentioned that you can't use dark beans with this machine. Unfortunately, I guess dark beans release oils that can clog the grinder as well as the mechanism that then releases the coffee into the machine to actually go ahead and spin it and actually then make the drink. So it can sort of just clog that whole area. So unfortunately, you know, if you drink a dark roast so this machine may not be the best fit for you. Personally, for me, it hasn't been an issue. I, you know, have found blends that work for me and I actually still use the same coffee that I used to use before. Um, not a plug, but I, you know, I use Blue Bottle every day and I've been able to use all their blends and it hasn't been an issue. I think for most people, this isn't gonna be an issue, but if you know that you especially like a dark roast, then this may not be the best fit for you. Overall, after using it for the last month, I would say I really love this machine. I think it's a great price for what it does. I was a little bit hesitant initially just because, you know, it's almost $1,000. Is it really going to be worth it? I can say after a month, it really is. I love the variety of drinks that I can make, how quickly I can make them. Um, they taste great. I think that they're far higher quality than what I would make previously with my pour over, my coffee machine, even the espresso machine that my brother had. I just feel like this does a really high quality job and it's very consistent. Um, and it's just really easy to use and easy to clean. And there's just not so much clutter on the counter. So I really loved it. And again, this is unsponsored. I'm making this video just because I really enjoyed using it and wanted to make a video about it because I thought it was great. So if you're looking for an espresso machine that's multi-purpose and can pretty much do anything under a thousand dollars, I would highly recommend it. I've noticed 
that spin tends to have a lot of sales and you can get anywhere from 75 to up to $150 as the most that I've seen off of it. So you can potentially get it as cheap as 850. So um, would highly recommend checking them out if you're in the market for a new machine. Um, I appreciate you all tuning in. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. Um, cheers till next time and I'll see you soon.